Tomorrow is September 8th and the anniversary of one of the worst natural disasters in American history. It was 123 years ago tonight that the people who lived in Galveston likely had no idea of the catastrophe they would face the next morning. In tonight's backstory, Bob Buckaloo takes us back to the year 1900. It was called the grandest city in Texas at the dawn of the 20th century, Galveston, with the largest port, the biggest mansions, the most millionaires, and some of the first telephones and electric lights in Texas. But with the arrival of the hurricane of 1900, Galveston would struggle to ever regain its former status. So devastating was this storm that it's estimated that nearly a fourth of the city's population died. The worst natural disaster in U.S. history with a staggering death toll, as many as 8,000 dead. So many that their bodies were loaded on barges and dumped at sea, only to have the cadavers wash ashore. Survivors lit huge funeral pyres to dispose of the unfortunate, most of whom had drowned when a 15-foot tide swept across a city only five feet above sea level. The inventor Thomas Edison sent a cameraman who arrived several days after the storm had struck. This remarkable record of the disaster is believed to be the first ever news film. The orphanage where 90 children and 10 nuns died while taking refuge in wooden structures nearby. The daily search for bodies beneath the rubble on Broadway Street. Workers attempting to move a schooner that had washed ashore. At the time of the hurricane, the U.S. Weather Bureau had been in operation for 10 years, but erroneously predicted that it would take a sharp turn north and hit Florida. No warnings for the people of Galveston. It's impossible to visit Galveston today and not see signs of that disaster long ago. The 17-foot seawall that was built after the great storm. And this, a simple sculpture that honors the memory of the thousands who lost their lives. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.